Okay, that's cool. He, like, kind of charged up to me and then hit me with a tail swipe, which is essentially useless. Yeah, try and keep up with me now, you bitch. Look, he's, like, frozen right there. He doesn't even know what to do. He's like, what the hell was that? What is that technology? What is going on, guys? Riot here playing Ark Survival Evolved, flying into a mountain with style. Just extremely honored to bring to you guys the newest Monster Hunter creature, Diablos, which has just so many insane powers just so many every almost every key on the keyboard is a different attack it's it's one of the most beautiful things to read through ever just just reading through all the all the hit list all the attack lists like holy shit just about every button on my keyboard and combinations of a few of them do insane attacks and that's like it's a beautiful thing i can't wait to show it off i just had to run around and like do loops around the map for a second to kind of ease my excitement before we get the creature on in here now, I would have done one where we just do it in the survival series where we find it and tame it, you know, but those, those could usually take a while, but I don't really mind because it's like, it's fun still being an arc, seeing all the new stuff. The only reason I'm not doing it on the server now is because the server needs an update and I'd have to wait until the host updates it. I have to, it could take hours. The shit, the shit could take all day. So I just figured I'd hop in a single player and have some fun with it first. Welcome the newest monster, the Diablos. Look at this awesome thing. You know, what's beautiful too is I see a little bit of Trike in there. He just looks like some fucked up mutant version of some creatures we already find on the on the island which is just a beautiful thing this guy right here i guess his tail is kind of similar to a few others again i'm not like the biggest monster hunter expert in fact i'm this the worst monster hunter expert i've never even played monster hunter before i really want to give some monster hunter game a try because a bunch of people have recommended a few but it's like every time i'm finally done editing it's late at night i finally have my videos exporting thumbnails done tags keywords everything completed the only thing I want to do in life is, like, go take a shower, because I usually smell like shit, and play Battlefield. It's a Battlefield, it's just, it's a drug at this point. Anyways, enough about me and my weirdo excuses. Now onto the Diablos. Look at that tail. That thing is awesome. I mean, obviously the horns are by far the sexiest thing about this creature, not to mention that's where most of its moves derive from, if not all of them. Wait, can you fly? Yeah, I don't know, that just occurred to me. I was like, wait, can this thing not, I don't think we're flying. It can't fly. You poor bastard. You have wings, but you can't fly. I bet you got so much shit in grade school for that. I, I doubt it, though, because those horns are pretty crazy. Look at that giant guarded just shield. Now, if you're looking at this creature, like, if you notice on the sidebar, there's a rage meter. It has the same kind of rage system going on as the Giganotus. Look at this guy over here. But the cool thing about this is it's not a bastard. It doesn't betray you when it rages out, which, like, some abusive-ass husband who just snaps and starts beating you out of nowhere. This thing stays on your side no matter how bad it rages out. The only difference is its moves do much more damage. All right, so just left-click is standard horn hits, horn thrust. That noise it makes while doing it is amazing. Jesus Christ, this thing is awesome! I think it's got double pairs of hus tusks too. It's got some right down beneath for anything small enough to uh, miss the initial or the big ones. Look at him, she doesn't stand a chance! Those horns just charging you down, Jesus Christ! I just watched like a video of some guy get gored horribly by a bull yesterday, and now that's all I keep thinking about right now. It's like the sight of those horns entering his leg and just like shredding it all to just like ground beef. So that's what I'm imagining this thing would do to like a T-Rex, Trike, Stego, anything large enough to fit one of those horns in its leg. We just really need some live action stuff. I was actually looking into some animators. Like I'm willing to spend a few thousand bucks to get like a minute long video going of just crazy monsters and dinosaurs killing each other. There's nothing like that. And it makes me crazy. I mean for like Ark, there's maybe drawn animations, but nothing people actually spent months on. Damn right, we leveled you up. I don't want this guy to get too strong because I want to see that rage in a bit. Once he takes enough damage to go crazy. Okay, so right click is Diablo's charge, which just it's just a shizzle amount of damage. What the hell is that? So we can fly? Or do we just glide? I think we just glide. I think we've got a Buzz Lightyear thing going on here. Here, let's get this thing going. Oh, that is a hilarious charge. <laughs> I mean, it's a hell of a charge. I'm sure anything that does get in the way essentially is completely screwed over. Oh, it doesn't even stop either. He just keeps going. Oh, nope, nope. Stops in the water. So we can fly then. Is that he cause he, if he can't go in the water, that means that that's that means that has to be a thing. I'm thinking he just can't. Maybe it's just because he's brand new, or maybe it's just a button I haven't gotten to yet. Ooh, that could be it. I suppose that could be a thing. Okay, so X ends the charge. That's what it is. He like literally will charge non-stop, just destroying everything in his path until you hit X. It was pretty funny. It's just there's no limit on this. This will be the way to travel across great landscapes. You don't have to worry about anything attacking you because he's attacking. And, um, you don't really have to worry about going forward. I mean, until you hit a rock. All right, well, you've got the glide down, buddy. Mm. All right, dude, Jesus Christ, it does not end. He's raged out. Okay, so basically when this guy rages out, he has a black smoke emitting from his mouth, right? Oh my God, that's so freaking perfect. Everything about this is just perfect. 
All right, now R is his like sideways horn swipe, I believe. But when he's raged out, it becomes a double hit move. It's like when he's not raged out, it just hits once. Now it's like th that's that's just crazy right there. Imagine getting swarmed by anything. They would just all get so fucked over right there. He would just all be vaporized. I can't wait to get like a new NPC army in here. Cause I always mess with the NPC people tribe getting armies in. But now it's like now that it's one of the these selected sponsored mods, I imagine there's gonna be some crazy additions to that mod that I can't wait to get my fingers on. Come here, buddy. Don't die. Takis burn like hell, dude. Well, how do I do that? See? You gotta recharge? Okay, so the thing about the roar is it has like a weight, it has a recharge because the roar completely stuns things that are going up against it. It's like once it roars, you can't attack, you can't do nothing. It's beautiful, actually. It's like the perfect thing to initiate before going into battle. It's a huge pain in the ass, though, once you're facing it. When I first spawned one of these in, it was wild, and um, it's the roar. I couldn't figure out what the hell was happening to me. I couldn't fire my gun or anything. I was just flying there in place. See, like, I should be able to just look. They can't even move. Everyone's just frozen. Wow, that'd be so perfect for taming and everything. I mean, they, they, they're only frozen for a second. Oh, you done messed up, sucker. Burr, Jesus. I imagine he's not even that OP either, because he's only level 19. He still does a lot of damage, though. Oh, easy there, buddy. See, that's the great thing, though. Once he takes too much damage and he gets weak, he just rages out. And then handles his shit like a businessman. See, that's the single swipe right there. That's the one that's doubled up when he's uh, rage, rage mode. He essentially has a power for everything. Was it shift Q? Okay, Q is Diablo's tail swipe, and then shift Q is his hip check. He could hip check people. Yeah, this thing better have some sort of tail swipe. Look at that thing. That gargantuan tumorous growth behind his ass. That is built to just wreck face. And then shift Q. He's that's totally a beautiful little hip check. That's exactly what that is. I literally just went to a concert last night. I was at Social Distortion last night. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, and it was literally all hip checking. My whole body's destroyed. So much mosh pitting. And literally everybody in the mosh pit had Trump stickers or Trump patches on their biker vests. It was, it was wild. All right, buddy, let's hip check this guy. What's going on? Come on. Ursh. Damn it, killed him. We killed him with our hips. Oh, no, we didn't. I was like, what are we, J-Lo? These deadly ass hips. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, no, no, my God. Yeah, this is the only issue with a guy like this, is there, that's what I meant to do. Because sometimes you accidentally press keys, and unfortunately almost every key is an attack. See, and he's just stunned. I assume by the time he's unstunned, then our roars recharge as well. So essentially the cooldown doesn't even do anything. Is he dead? What's happening here? You know, we have ways of dealing with people like him. They all knew! It's for the best. We were done with him anyways. He's got a really cool death animation, I'll give him that much. Time to get a wild one in here and see what's pooping. So here we have a wild one charging us down. I don't think he's really going to be able to do much to us with this tech armor on, which I'm pretty fine with because I don't want to just die and then have to... I feel like you should be so much bigger. Jesus Christ, he is a fast one. The only reason he stopped right there is because that unlucky bastard got in the way. Okay, that's cool. He like kind of charged up to me and then hit me with a tail swipe, which is essentially useless. Yeah, try and keep up with me now, you bitch. Like he's like frozen, right? He doesn't even know what to do. He's like, what the hell was that? What is that technology? This alien possesses. Oh my god, and I ran over his ass. Holy shit! Okay, well, that's the, that's, the, uh, that's the paralyzation right there, that little eyeball in the bottom corner. And once there's a million of them together, then it's just a continuous roar. I can't even hear myself speak right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. These guys are amazing. I swear, there's not enough things charging you down in arc with, like, pure hatred rage with giant tusks just aimed right at your ass. That just isn't a thing... As much as it should be, unfortunately, but it looks like that's a thing of the past right now, because now there is plenty. Of course, there's still not the most overpowerful thing. Like, this gun's just the most unfair thing in the world, though, but now we just need one of you. So you get one of you together. Hang on. And just him. He shall be our victor. Oh, wait. There we go. Like, what's your health look like at level 10, buddy? I forgot to totally check his stats. Didn't even occur to see 6,000 health at level 10. But see, the monsters in the Monster Hunter mod aren't supposed to be insanely OP. They're actually really fun to play with with a lot of mods. Oh, what's going on, man? I totally forgot about one of the coolest things. Oh, no, don't tell me it doesn't work yet. Oh, shit, I don't think it works yet. Oh, my God. See, he starts to do it. Basically, the Diablos can also dig underground. And, like, while they're while digging underground and coming out of the ground are both attacks. They, um, going underground, I guess, barely does any damage at all. But once you shoot out of the ground, that's, like, one of his primary attacks right there. I imagine it's just giant horns thrusting out of the ground. That would make the most sense. This fight could go on forever. I'm pretty sure I'm the weakest one here. 
See, when I activate the cheat or when I cheat fly, then he has like a beautiful, perfect fly animation. So obviously he's meant to fly. It's just not a thing right now. I was, I was almost thinking it wasn't a thing because its wings aren't like the biggest. I don't, I don't know if they're going to change anything. But obviously with wings, it's meant to fly and that's what it's doing. What the hell is going on down here? Oh, just a bunch of mammoths. I thought it was like some weird monster. But yeah, so I assume this will be implemented very soon because it's pretty much complete as you can see by what's going on in front of you. I just can't wait for that digging animation going underground and charging out with these things would be so damn cool. Because I got these big ass horns that are just like, that's actually a fucking gnarly looking creature. I actually haven't stared at its face really. Anyways, this guy's awesome and I can't wait to go tame one of my survival series. This is always a grand time in our lives when a new monster is added to the Monster Hunter mod and I'm super freaking thankful i can't speak though but <laughs> so yeah if you had a good time watching make sure to smack that like button subscribe for more download the mod in the description below and i'll see you next time peace yeah.